Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on the percent proportion. And we're going to use the percent proportion today to either find the percent, what percent of 5 is 4, the part, what number is 80% of 5, or the whole, 4 is 80% of what number. And you can see a bunch of proportions here that we're going to solve. In a proportion, one ratio or fraction compares part of a quantity to the whole quantity. The other ratio is the equivalent percent written as a fraction with the denominator of 100. So what we're looking at here is 4 out of 5 is 80 percent. The part is the 4, the whole is the 5, is 80 over 100. So 4 over 5 equals 80 over 100. Now in this lesson today, either the part's going to be missing, the whole's going to be missing, or the percent's going to be missing, and we need to use cross products in solving proportions to find one of those three. So let's go right today to our got it questions. What percent of 25 is 20? I'm going to zoom in here. And we're going to set this up one of two ways. We could set this up, as it says above, part over whole is going to equal the percent over 100. Now, how do we identify parts, wholes, percents? That's kind of the tricky part. Now, another way of looking at this, instead of part over whole, is is over of equals the percent over 100. Now, as we look at our question, what percent? Well, we don't know the percent. That's what we're looking for in this question. Now we have to identify the other parts. The is typically is going to link up with our part. And so when we see is 20, that's typically going to be our part. The of is typically going to be our whole. So what percent of 25, that's the big whole, the of, is 20, that's the small part. And so we can set this up now using either the part over whole equals percent over 100 or is over of equals percent over 100. The is, our part, is 20 over our whole, which is 25. And that's going to equal our percent we do not know. So that's going to be our x over 100. Now that 100 for now is always going to stay the same. Now we get to use our cross products to solve. So we're going to take our 20 times 100 and set that equal to our 25 times x. 20 times 100 is 2,000 equals 25x. And if I divide by 25 on both sides of this equation now, 2,000 divided by 25 is 80. Now that 80 is our percent, so our answer here is going to be 80%. So 80% of 25 is 20. As we continue on now, $12.75 is what percent of 50? So let's go ahead and write our part, which is the same thing as our is, over the whole, which is the same thing as our of equals our percent 
over 100. And as we look through this question now, as we look for the part, the part is our is. So the $12.75 is going to be our part. $12.75 is what percent? Well, we don't know our percent again, so that's going to be what we're looking for. Of 50, that's going to be our whole. So as we go to set up our proportion now, 12 dollars and 75 cents over the 50 is going to equal the percent we do not know, so we'll set it as a variable, x over 100. And now we can cross simplify, or excuse me, cross multiply here as we get our 12 dollars and 75 cents times 100 is going to equal the other cross products of 50 times x. Well, $12.75 times 100 is 1,275 equals 50x. And if we divide both sides of this one-step equation now by 50, we're going to get an answer of 25.5. Now we're dealing here with a percent, and so we can say as our final answer, 25 and 5 tenths percent. So as we continue on for our got it C and D, we'll go to the top of our work zone here, and question C is asking us, what number is 5 percent of 60? Let's set up our percent proportion, our part, which is our is, over the whole, which is our of, is going to equal our percent over 100. And so now as we go to identify this, for our part, well, we're being asked what number is. We don't know what that number is, so we're looking for the part. For the whole of 60. And then for our percent, we're given the number 5%. And so we can go to set this up now. We don't know our part, so this is going to be x over our whole of 60 is going to equal our percentage. Now we're going to write this percentage just like it says there, 5 over 100. And now we can cross multiply. 100 times x is going to equal that 60 times 5. Well, 100 times x is 100x equals 60 times 5 is 300. And if we divide by the 100 on both sides of our equation, we're going to get a solution of x equals 3. And that is our answer. x equals 3. 3 is 5% of 60. Next, as we continue on to question D, 12% of 85 is what number? Well, again, our percent proportion is going to be set up as part, which is our is, over our whole, which is our of, and that's going to be equal to our percent over 100. So as we go through our question, we're given 12 percent, well that's going to be our percent, of 85, of 85 is going to be our whole, is what, well that's going to be our variable. So as we once again set this up, our part is the x over our whole 
our of is 85, is going to equal our percentage, which in this question is 12, over 100. And now I can cross multiply. We have this x and 100, so 100 times x is going to equal the 85 multiplied by 12. Well, 100 times x is 100. x equals the product of 85 and 12 is 1,020. I'm going to solve the one-step equation now. Divide by 100 on the left side and by 100 on the right side. And x is going to equal 10 and 2 tenths. And 10 and 2 tenths is our solution. 12% of 85 is 10 and 2 tenths. So as we move on now to our got it questions E and F, 40% of what number is 26? We'll start there. We're once again going to set up using our percent proportion, which is our part, which is the same thing as our is, over the whole, which is our of, equals our percent over 100. So as I go to identify the different pieces here, 40%, well, that's our percentage. Hopefully you'll find that the percentage becomes the easiest to find. Of what number? Well, we don't know that right now. So that's going to be our variable. Is 26, that's our part. So as we put these in, our is was 26 over our whole, we do not know, so that's going to be our x this time, equals our percentage, which in this question is 40, over 100. And now we get to cross multiply and solve. The 26 times the 100 is going to be equal to the 40 times the x. Well, 26 times 100 is 2,600 equals 40 times x is 40x. My next step is going to be dividing by 40 on both the right and left sides so I can get my x alone. And 2,600 divided by 40 is 65. So 65 equals x. 40% of 65 is 26. And as we move on to question F, 84 is 75% of what number? We'll one more time set up our percent proportion. Our part, which is our is, over our whole, which is our of, is going to equal our percent over 100. And now as we look to put these pieces in, 84 is, that is our part. 75%, well, that's our percent. And then our of what number? That's going to be our variable for the whole. And so now, 84 is 84 over our of, which is our variable, so x is going to equal our percentage which was 75 over 100. And I can once again use cross products. 84 times 100 is going to equal 75 times x. 84 times 100 is 8,400 equals 75x. And now we finish by solving this one-step equation by dividing 75 on the left and the right side. 
and 8,400 divided by 75 is 112. So 112 equals x. 84 is 75% of 112. And so for all of these questions, we can start off by going part over whole, or is over of, equals percent over 100. And then identify the different pieces. What's my part? What's my whole? What's my percent? And solve. Would like to go over the word question real quick. The average adult male Western Lowland Gorilla eats about 33 and 5 tenths pounds of fruit each day. How much food does the average adult male gorilla eat each day? Well, you can see they set up a proportion here. You know that 33 and 5 tenths pounds is the part. So we have our part over our whole, and we're looking for the whole. The fruit was 67%. So we have our 67% over 100. They cross multiplied, simplified, and solved the one-step equation to get 50. The average adult male gorilla eats 50 pounds of food each day. And that is it for this lesson on the percent proportion. Good luck.